Hey everyone, welcome on Davis Tag. So in the last video we worked on the select contact page, but in this video we are going to work on the new group page. So when you click on a new group, then you will land into the new group page, and we are going to work on this page on this video. When you click on the multiple contact card, like if I will click on a Balram, then here you can see that that thing is added over here, and you can select multiple contact. and you can unselect it from here so this kind of ui we are going to make on this video also this avatar card is clickable so when you click on it then automatically it will remove from here and also the check box will be gone from here okay so this video may be lengthy but in this video we are going to cover that how you can create this kind of card and how you can handle the events So please watch the video till the last and stay updated. So we have to work on the new group page. For that we need to create a new file which will handle the code of the new group page. So let me create a new file which will be a create profile dot dot. And here we are going to write the whole code of the new group page. But if you see that new group page consists the same thing. I'm in same layout as we have in a select contact page. So what I'm going to do that I'm just going to copy the whole code of the select contact page, which we covered in a last video, and I will going to paste this whole thing over here. The thing we have to change, we have to change the name of the class because we are working on a new group page. So create. not profile it will be a create group sorry i just misspelled it so the create group page and uh, i have to change the state name as well of this page to the create group state and i'm going to hit the save and also i have to change the name of this page that is actually a create group dot dot file not create profile so Now, after creating a create group page, we have to call this create group page from the select contact dot dot file, where we have the new group button, and here we have the button card. And if I will go on a button card, here we have the ink well. So we are handling the event from the button card itself. So what I'm going to do that instead of handling the event from the button card, let me remove this widget and return the list style only from the button card. i'm going to handle the event from the select contact dot dot file so to handle event i have to wrap this button card with the ink well widget okay and in the ink well we have the on tap so when i will click on a new group then on tap method will be called and in the on tap method i'm going to use the navigator dot push and the context and we have to provide the route what will be the route we have to use the material page route again in the material page route we have the builder method let me return the builder method to a create group page okay so we are returning a create group page from this new group button and imp i will hit the save and if you click on a new group page then you will land into the new group page but you can see that there is nothing change because i just copied the whole code of the select contact page to the create group page so let's work on the create group page first here the app bar title we have to change to the new group as we have in a whatsapp also we have to change the lower title to the context to add party sipants and let me hit the save and in the new group page we don't have this pop up menu button so let me remove this pop up menu button as well and let me hit the save 
in new group page we don't have these two tab that new group and new contact tab so let me remove these two thing the if condition for handling these two thing from here and let me put the item count to the contact length because we don't need these two tab so we have to put the con uh, item count to the length we have for the contact and we have to start the index from the zero and if i will hit the save then these two things will be gone now we have to make this all the card clickable and we have to handle the events and also i have to put the checkbox over here if i will select any of the contact card for that let me go on a contact card and here we handling the event here with the help of the ink well so i'm just going to put this ink well again in the create group page i'm not going to handle the event from the contact card itself instead of handling the event from the contact card i'm just going to handle the event from the create group so it will be more easy to manage all the events so let me put the ink well over here and uh, i have to put the on tap over here so we will work on the on tap just after working on the contact card here we have to put the checkbox and to put a checkbox on top of the circle or tar we have to use the stack so what i am going to do that in the leading where i have the circle or tar instead of returning a circle or tar itself i am going to return a stack so it will be a stack widget and the first cell of the stack is the circle avatar okay now the second cell of the stack will be icon and what will be the icon name the icon name will be icons dot check and what will be the color of the icon the color of the icon will be colors dot white and what will be the size of the icon the size of the icon will be 18 and let me hit the save and show you the changes the icon is added due to the color is white you are not able to see so instead of returning the icon i have to return i have to wrap this icon widget with the circle avatar again why you will know once i will return this icon from the circle avatar if you go on a whatsapp you will find that there is a checkbox and checkbox itself have the background of the till so let me put the color to colors dot till and you will find that i'm why i'm returning the circle avatar from here and i have to put the radius of the circle avatar to 11 and let me hit the save and show you the changes why I just wrap this icon with the circle avatar. You can see that this checkbox is looking like the same as the WhatsApp one. Now we just have to put this checkbox from here top to the here bottom. And for that we have to use the position widget. So let me just wrap the circle avatar widget again with the position widget. Position widget. And here we have to specify the position. What will be the position? We have to put the bottom as the 4 and we have to put the right as the 5. And if I will hit the save, then you will find that the checkbox is added just above the icons, but it is not looking exactly as the WhatsApp one. For that, what I had to do, I had to wrap this leading widget i mean the stack with the container so let me wrap this widget to the container and let me provide the height to 50 and width to 50 and let me hit the save now you can see that it's looking exactly like the whatsapp one 
now we have to handle the event of the particular contact card if i will click here only this checkbox will come so how we can handle this event to handle the event you have to go on a create group page in a create group page each card is clickable and each card is wrapped with the inkwell and here we have the on type method we have to handle the event from here only so for that what i'm going to do if you remember that this is a list of the contact and each of the list have the chat model instance so if i will go on a chat model instance and create a new variable that will be a type of bool the name will be select and default it will be a false also we have to initialize this variable with help of this dot select and default value will be false we are going to handle this checkbox with help of this variable only if person will click on this contact card then only this checkbox will come and that will be handled using this select variable so let me go on a create group and here we have the list of the contacts so i have the list of the contact inside the build method let me make it global i have to put this list of the contact just above the build method so the contact variable will be global and also i have to create a new variable call which will be a type of chat model again groups that will consist the groups which we selected over here now we initialize the name and status and a third variable is the select which default have the value false so we have to write the condition inside the inkwell because when i will click on inkwell only this on method will be called and here we have to write the condition so what will be the condition we have to write the if condition inside the if condition what we are going to call so here you can see that we are accessing the individual instances of the chat model with help of this thing so if the individual instance of the chat model and particular variable called select has the value false let me take the example of this dev stack instance of the chat model if this instance have the select variable value false which mean we have to set the state and we have to put this select variable as a true because now we are selected that particular contact card and we have to set it as a true and also we have to add this particular chat model instance on the groups list which we created for handling the all the selected variable so let me add this thing the particular chat model instance on a group list and if i will again tap on a dev stack which mean i mean at the first time when i will tap on a dev stack then it will be selected and the check box will come when again i will tap on a dev stack then it will be unselected and the check box will be gone from here so for that if the select variable have the value true which mean it will come on a else condition so we are going to set the state again but at this time let me put this curly braces at this time we have to set the select variable as a false and at this time we have to remove the variable from the groups list because right now we unselected the dev stack so we added these two condition but i have a one extra curly braces that's why it's giving the issue now we added the condition and now with help of this select variable we can handle this checkbox for that i have to go on a contact card in the contact card we are getting the individual instances of the chat model with help of that only we are getting the name and the status one so let's handle the checkbox from the select variable 
here we have the widget of this checkbox and we have to render this checkbox conditionally with the help of the select variable so we are getting the individual value instance of the chat model on a contact variable so if the contact dot select have the value true which means return this checkbox if it have the value false which means return the empty container and if I will hit the save then you will wanna find all the checkbox will be gone over here and if I will again tap over here then you will find that checkbox will come and if I will again tap then checkbox will gone same thing happen with other tab as well which means the first task is completed and the second task is so all the selected contacts here just like the whatsapp one but that thing we are going to cover in a next video because this video is already long and uh, i don't want to make video very long so let's meet on a next video but before you will go on a next video please don't forget to subscribe this channel like and share the video because whenever i get time then i make the video so actually i'm trying to make the video as soon as possible because i love to make the video but i'm not getting so much of time so your subscriber count and the like and share thing will motivate me to make the video as soon as possible so please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video and share the video to your friend that will motivate me okay so thank you all and happy coding i will upload the next video as soon as possible because it is a part of this video so let's meet on the next video